We're down here now at our current public works facility that we started operating out of this facility in about 1970. And the city has grown so much since then um, that we just can't fit everything we need in this, this place right now. There's not really any room to expand on the current site. So we're looking to build on a whole new site with a complete new facility. Um, you can see behind me here, we have a lot of vehicles. They sit outside all year long. Um, we don't have a big enough building to house everything, so they sit out in the elements. And, and we have millions of dollars worth of equipment and vehicles that sit outside and in the weather. And that just, um, we want to get them inside, keep them clean um, to prolong the life of those. And you know, it's a, it's a huge expense to us for this equipment. So we want to make it last as long as we can. Another issue we have here on this site is, is our salt storage. Since the city has, has grown so much over the last um, few decades, we don't have enough salt on hand at any one time to get us through a winter. While you might not think that's an issue, if there becomes a salt shortage or trouble getting deliveries, we could run out of salt in the middle of a winter, and we don't want to do that, obviously. So currently, we can store about a thousand ton of salt in our existing facility. Um, in a typical winter, we may use between 15 and 1800 tons of salt. So we want to have a facility that we can store and have on hand enough salt that would get us through, th through any normal winter that we might have. We've really been looking at this project for several years. Um, the biggest challenge has been actually finding some land that's suitable in a place um, that's close enough to the main part of the city to provide all the services in an expedient time like we like, but also that's not going to be a detriment to a neighborhood or a residential area. So um, fortunately enough, we have been donated some land here recently. We've um, acquired a 16 acre parcel of land up on Northwoods Boulevard, which um, sits just to the east of the Kroger's complex. So we're really excited that, that we got that land donated to us for free, which, which saves us a ton of money up front. Um, and where we're at right now, we've just signed a contract with a, a consulting firm for the design of our project. Um, we've signed a phase one, which will do the programming of our new site, which they'll interview staff and we'll have meetings with them. They'll look at the site and, and kind of come up with a concept and see what we need and what we think we need. And, and they may even have some ideas that we haven't thought of yet. So once we have that programming done, we'll be able to put a budget to this. Just as, as a note, some of the things we we do in our, um, the public works department, we take care of plowing the snow, we co leaf collection, we do asphalt repairs, we maintain all of our street signage, um, we do the street lighting in town, um, we put up decorations at Christmas time, we do the banners downtown. Um, just a lot of things that take a lot of equipment and a lot of folks. We, we have about 20 people on staff when we're full staffed here. So. Um, that, that has grown since we started using this building. Um, we also, um, we have our own mechanics that take care of not only all of our vehicles, but all of um, some other departments as well, including the fire department. Um, we have our, our building over here that it's, it's hardly big enough to get like two large pieces of equipment in and work on. So we're hoping to expand our mechanics operations in the city um, and, and really be a, a top tier fleet service um, for all of the, the city vehicles, including the fire department and all of our public works vehicles as well. So um, those are just some of the things that we do um, that we've really just outgrown this site and really need to expand.